In this video, we're going to test this product and how it performs. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Let's dive into it. So what I got for you today is the Carbonaut, the thermal pad solution from Thermal Greasley. They are well known for their thermal compound solutions. This was delivered a few weeks back. So this is my first time to, un to take this out from the package, as you can see. So I've, I've heard and seen a lot of positive reviews and of course, you know, uh, negative reviews about it. Um, and anyway, I would like to try this out. Now, this is not a cheap solution. Uh, this is very expensive. Um, in fact, uh, this cost me like $25, uh, including uh, the shipping. This package or this product comes with the certificate. Okay, and then the other documentation here, how to apply uh, the thermal greasy uh, thermal pad and the product itself. Let's put this away and open this. Okay, now hopefully I haven't seen uh, of the videos about um, how, how many it comes with. So the packaging itself is not premium but it's still gray. I'm not quite sure why they put in too much effort of putting in the foam here where it's only it only contains one pad okay that sucks this is the 38 by 38 which is intended for the AMD um, AMD uh, processors yeah so it feels like a cloth as you can see Yeah, that's how it looks like. Now, I'm not quite sure whether this is the correct size, but we'll see. yeah, it's too small. I might have ordered the wrong one. For better perspective, I have here a processor from Intel. This looks like a Pentium processor. The print is a little bit worn out. Um, it's really hard to read. If we put the two side by side, um, the PCB of the uh, processor is almost the same size as the thermal pad itself. But if we put it on the HIS itself, it's too big. So I think we have the right size. So we will try this out um, after this. I can tell you now why this thermal solution is a great alternative to the thermal paste. Not only the thermal paste is difficult to apply, it is difficult to remove. Whereas with the thermal pad, just lay it down on the top of the CPU's HIS and that's it. After we mount the CP cooler, let's proceed with the tests. This is the temperature of the CPU on thermal paste while in idle. in idle. This is the temperature while on the thermal pad. I hope I didn't skew the results. 
However, basing from my observation, the thermal pad's performance is on par with the thermal paste. Now let's proceed with the next tests. We're going to use Cinebench to simulate load to the CPU. As you can see, while on the thermal paste, the highest temperature that it reached was 84 degrees Celsius. Let's see how the thermal pad performs. According to this result, the highest temperature that the CPU reached was 82 degrees Celsius. Again, I don't know whether I skewed it, but it seems that with thermal pad, the CPU temperature is 2 degrees lower. Nevertheless, this has shown us proof that this thermal pad is a viable replacement to the thermal paste. But what do you think though? Leave your comments below. If you like the video, toss me a like and help the channel by subscribing. See you on the next one.